Members, any discussion on Bill 42? No discussion? Council Member Harimoto. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I speak in strong opposition. I said a lot about this in committee, and uh, I'm going to review some of my notes here. Uh, but first, let me make an observation. A few months ago, perhaps last year, um, when the first bill came to us about uh, making it illegal to lie on the sidewalk, uh, this council swore that it wasn't about attacking the homeless. We said we were not targeting the homeless. But here, just a few short months later, lo and behold, it is about the homeless. We're talking now about the homeless causing this huge problem blocking our sidewalks that we need to make a law to make lying and sitting in the sidewalk illegal. But just as an observation, so something changed. Uh, were we not being honest back then? Not sure, just an observation. Um, we all agree there's a huge problem in Waikiki. Uh, we heard all the testimony earlier. I don't think any of us disagrees that it's a serious problem, especially in Waikiki, so that's a given. But let's look at some of the facts. Um, and again, I said a lot of this in committee last week, and I'm just going to repeat it because this, this is important. The issue of homelessness did not occur overnight. It's been years and perhaps decades in the works. And what have we done in the past? I would venture to say that government, government has been negligent and we just looked the other way while the problem grew, but it was there. And some say it's a crisis situation, perhaps, but I think the problem is that the problem did not occur overnight, so why are we looking for a solution overnight? It doesn't work that way. And making this kind of law really doesn't make the problem go away. Um, as we heard from the testimony, we need to look at the root cause. We can say, yes, we made a law and pat ourselves on the back, but how did that help? I'm not sure. The homeless people won't disappear because we make a law, that's for sure. What we know is that the chronic homeless are homeless for a reason, that we need to give them support. I think that's a given. We hear that existing shelters has, may have space, okay, even if that's true, if that is a fact, which I don't know, but let's say that's a fact. Also a fact is the chronic homeless cannot go into these existing shelters. These existing Shelters are traditional shelters that the chronic homeless cannot be accepted into. That is a fact. So I think we're talking apples and oranges. Another factor in this is that these shelters typically have time limits. You cannot stay in that, those shelters forever. So they have to move on. Where do they move on to? back to the streets, I, I would imagine. I mean, these are all things we have to consider. And I think one, one big issue is that finally we have the state, the city, and the social service agencies all working together. The states has convened this, this interagency council on, on homelessness. I attended the last meeting. They're making great progress. Fantastic plans. Let's give them a chance to implement those plans before we make these kinds of laws. I think what they're doing will truly make a difference, but let's not trump them with this law. I think we all agree also, another fact, as, as far as I can see, we all agree that Housing First works. The data shows it works, it's successful city after city after city, it works. So let's say we agree that Housing First works. Housing 
first. It's called housing first for a reason. It's not housing second or housing last. It's housing first. These homeless people need a place to go. So let's be sure we have the housing first, give them the support systems they need before we consider implementing a law like this. At the committee meeting, we heard the administration testify that some of these things will be in place by August 1st. I'm kind of doubtful August 1st will happen. Serious doubtful. But let's say even if some of it does, we need to consider how much of it will be in place. Probably very little. I think at best the city is looking at 10 housing units. But as we've heard from the testimony, there's um, something like 500 plus uh, chronic homeless, um, which of which they assess 140 are suitable for housing first. 10 units, 140 people, I don't think so. But let's talk about the root cause. One of the big root causes that I think all experts agree on is the lack of affordable housing. Severe shortage of affordable housing. We've heard that time after time after time. So let's not look at attacking the issue of homelessness in isolation of the root cause solution, which is more affordable housing. So we need to put all of these things into perspective and let's not just say, pass one law, we've done our jobs, pat ourselves on the back. I don't think it works that way. Um, and I've talked before about the partnerships with Waikiki, the community, the residents, the businesses, the organizations, um, we need to do that. But I think the most important point is that we cannot view the homeless as problems. We cannot view the homeless people as just a problem to sweep under the rug. They are people. They are people. And I think we need to approach this issue with compassion and love. I mean, that's, that's the way we do it in Hawaii. And again, I'll say, I'll just conclude by saying, my faith guides me in what I do. The facts, I think, are aligned with my faith in saying that we need to provide the support first, housing first. And I just can't see us doing it any other way. So I am in strong opposition. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Council Member.